Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out the brand new Hilti brushless hammer drill. Now this model just came out. I did get a brush version as well that's coming in the mail. We're gonna do a versus video between those two to see what the power difference is. But this cost $130 alone. Tool only, no belt clip, no nothing. Just a bubble wrap, uh, instructions, and the tool. But when it comes to turning it into a kit, you know, with a bag, charger, batteries, belt clip, it gets expensive. 2.6 amp hour is $80 for a single battery. Uh, 4 amp hour is 110 and an 8 amp hour is 203 And so that's the highest that the 20 volt, uh, 22 volt system goes to is 8 amp hours, but it's $110 for a single 4 amp hour battery. So, uh, just like all the other batteries, you just push the release buttons in and it tells you what the battery life is at. Which I think is cool, you don't need an extra button. All right, so we are gonna start off with the charger. The charger number is C4-36-90. Uh, it is uh, 50 to 60 hertz at 105 watt, and uh, it has a five amp fuse. And the output is 7.2 volts to 36 volts, four amp hour, uh, four amps, uh, 90 watts. So it's actually a pretty fast charger. Uh, lithium ion, uh, it has a light indicator right there on telling the status of your charge. There is no display on what your charge is or what the battery is. It just has two little things, two little displays right there, and that's it. Hilti assumes that you know what you're doing if you're buying Hilti, so they don't need uh, display for dummies. So it's, it's a very simple display. It doesn't have like a huge section to where it shows you what each thing is. So, so that's the charger, which it's actually a good solid. It's a good, uh, nice, it's not that heavy. It's not heavy, but it's not light. It has a good solid feel to it. Nothing rattling, nothing rattling on the inside. So the battery, the battery is, a 22 volt system, four amp hour lithium ion, uh, 21.6 volts. See, the, just like it's a it's a marketing thing, this is not a 22 uh, amp hour battery. It's actually 21.6. And so the model number of this is B22 slash 4.0. And so yeah, uh, like I said, just push those in. Shows you the display. It's awesome. Now the, the handle for the uh, for the drill, this is actually this is heavy. Uh, this is uh, the fiberglass uh, handle is extremely, extremely stiff. It's very dense. It's a very dense material. Now the the actual uh, shaft is this thing's solid, 100%. This thing's solid. Uh, and yeah, this is not going to break on you by any means when it comes to properly using it on uh, on a, on the drill. All right, and then we have the brushless drill. Now this thing, I saw, I was browsing through the Hilti uh, website. I saw this. I had to have it. I had to have it immediately, and so I ordered it. With uh, shipping, I got it the very next day. I ordered it Friday morning. I got it Saturday afternoon. So this thing is seriously a beast well it looks like a beast but we're going to put that to the test today to see if it's actually a real beast now the model number for this is sf6ha22 uh it goes to uh it's two two speed settings with a variable trigger speed one it goes to 490 uh, rpms on speed two zero to 2000 and i'll put the impacts per minute and torque in right now uh, it does not say that on the display, and when it comes to when it comes to this this little uh, unit right here, where the battery goes, it's loose. It is not directly connected to the body, which I think they do this on purpose because th this is a special unit on this specific tool to where it has vents, where it, it has two lights on the base. And this right here 
it, it has uh, cooling vents right there. It has one right here and uh, one right there. So I think that is extremely awesome that they kept that uh, that that unit separate from the from the drill. So that's seriously awesome that they uh, that they did that. And uh, this is a 15 point chuck plus two uh, drill setting and hammer setting. And when it comes to the screw setting, you just have it on the clutch and then that's what it does. I like that feature because then you don't get confused. If it has a separate switch right here to uh, hammer drill, drill, and screw, it's already in the clutch. Now, it is a, a half inch chuck. The chuck is metal. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a good thing to have when it comes to a hammer drill. You want a metal chuck because it needs to withstand the force of the vibration of the hammer feature. And if that's plastic, it's more than likely to break, which is why on most hammer drills, it has to be metal. So, yes, this thing is uh, this thing is seriously awesome. We are going to put this to the test right now. The battery is full and ready to go. But let's slide this on and let's take a listen to it. This thing is a beast. Wow. That is seriously, that's reverse, forward, that's on speed two, speed one, reverse, speed two one more time. All right, let's put this to the test and see what this can do. All right, so when it comes to this test, we are not going to waste any time. We're going to use the three quarter inch. A drill, the one and one eighth spade, and the one and a half inch self-driving spade. Now, this is not this is way more way too powerful for a half inch or anything else. So we're gonna put this through the extreme test. We're gonna start off with speed uh, speed one. No, we're gonna start off with speed two. Let's see what this can do on speed two. I'm super excited about this test, and I want to see if this is able to do this with flying colors. Now we are going to stop the timer once the chuck slams into the, the piece of wood. We're going to start off right here. Now this, with this power, this should be almost nothing. Uh, the battery is, battery is full. All right, right there is good. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> We're gonna do that again. Uh, we are gonna, as soon as it stops, I have to lift it up to really, uh, get rid of the debris because the debris inside the actual drill prevented it from proceeding. So I have to lift it up all the way, put it back in. It's so already go. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. None whatsoever. Take it out with speed one. There we go. All right, let's do a test on speed one. Let's see what it, we can do. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow, not bad, not bad at all. Let's take it out. All right, for the next test, we are going to use the one and one eighth spade. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. Wow. That went in like nothing. Now let's see if we can slowly take it out. That is in there. All right, so let's do the one and a half inch self-driving uh, bit. This thing's amazing. 
This thing is amazing. All right, I think that clears everything. Uh, I was told the last time I did this, I should use the handle, which I'm going to. But like I said, I listened to my viewers. I was told when I use the one and a half, use the handle, which I will. That clears everything. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, sorry, that's... Ready? Go. Time. It got, I'm not gonna, you can't deny those. This does this like absolutely nothing. That's on speed one. That's on speed one. Let's have fun taking this out, because this will be fun. Wow. There we go. All right, let's see what it can do on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Uh. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> that's time. That is time. It did it like nothing. Alrighty, what else can we do? You know what I want to try to do? Let's see how much torque this thing has. Let's try to drive in a lag screw with this. Let's see if it's able to do it. All right, so ready, go. Let's take it out. All right, let's go with something bigger. Five and a half. Let's do it right here. This, guys, this thing is unbelievable. All right, let's go to speed two. You know, and for this, I have to take the, the, the handle off. I need more control. I need more control with this. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so let's go to speed one. All right, now, all right, I'm, I'm gonna need the hammer drill back. Like I said, what we do in this channel, we push these to the limits. No point on buying it if you don't on this channel. All right, so ready, continue. Wow. Almost there. Nope, it requires speed one. Wow. Oh, that's in absolutely insane. You know what? I'm willing to bet that this, oh, that smells beautiful. I'm willing to bet that this is capable of driving in a lag faster than an impact driver. I, I bet you, we're gonna put that to the test too. People are gonna think that's, Orange, oh, oranges to apples or something, but this thing is, this thing's amazing. This thing is amazing. I have a feeling that the DeWalt and Milwaukee doesn't stand a chance against this, but we will find out in the future. We will find out in the future. This thing is seriously, seriously awesome. And this is only a 4 amp hour battery. Imagine if you put an 8 amp hour battery on there. This thing's amazing. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this test really quick just to see what this can do. Get a feel for it. But now I am a lot more confident that this will be able to do the task when it comes to, when it comes to versus videos. More videos, are plenty of videos coming on the way along with uh, uh, Hilti being in there now. We are, I, this channel is getting more Hilti tools. I still need to get the quarter inch hex impact brushless version, the half inch impact wrench. And I need to get the brushless recip saw and a brushless circular saw. So, so that's pretty much it. 
Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos if you are subscribed. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.